Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies Just Another Mixer Monday, 17 box baseball mixer. It's a random team break. Um, all teams are in. Yeah, a lot of different years, a lot of different types of products. Good mix between tops and panini stuff. So yeah, that's a really nice, uh, really nice set of boxes there. So good luck everybody. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Now remember, this is part of um, a little promo that we have going on tonight. We loaded up three mixers. Baseball mixer, football mixer, a basketball mixer. If all three sell out by end of show tonight, right, we'll give away a ton of break credit. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So there'll only be just, what, 30 plus 30 plus 32? Not 92 entries? So with the amount of break credit we're giving away, that's probably some of the best odds you've seen on jazbeescasebreaks.com for a little bit for a promo like this. All right, so all 30 teams are in, no combos. These are all the uh, wonderful people that got into the baseball break. And let's roll it, let's randomize it. One and three, four times for names and teams. One, two, three, and four. Got Nancy down to David after four. And then one and three, four times for the teams. Two, three, and four. Four times right there. We got twins down to halos. All right, so Nancy got the twins and the Red Sox. Chris, last spot, Mojo, uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. David with the Pirates, Sean with the White Sox, Nancy with the Cardinals, Joe with the Orioles, Rob with the Nats, Nancy with the Cubs. We got Gavin with my Dodgers who are trailing by a few runs. Top of the ninth. They gotta let's see what, if they can make some noise in the bottom of the ninth. John with the Astros, Joe with the Tigers, Justin with the Rockies, Joe with the Mets, Charles with the Padres, Joe with the uh, Blue Jays, Michael, Michael Duan with the Phillies, Trevor with the Braves, Joe with the Reds, David with the Guardians, Barry with the Rangers, Charles with the Yankees, Brian with the Marlins, David with the Giants, Alan with the Royals, David with the Brewers, uh, Michael with the A's, Eugene with the Rays, and David with the Los Angeles, California Angels of Anaheim in Orange County. So let's alphabetize by team. We're gonna pause the video for a little bit. When we uh, come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break, so we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. TWC, trade window closed. A couple uh, offers here and there, but in the end, no deals were done. That is all good here on a Monday. Now we have two more mixers to go to unlock that break credit promo. So even if you're not a fan of baseball or basketball, if you're in this baseball break, maybe get a spot or two in the other mixers just to help, uh, just to help that move along. Big thanks everybody here for making it happen. I appreciate you. Um, where should we start? Let's start with, we're gonna save this, this autograph baseball, this doesn't have a checklist, so we'll go by our no checklist rules, right? So if it's a retire, obviously like Bryce Harper will go to the Phillies, because that's the team he's currently on, but if it's a retired player, it'll go to the team that he, uh, that he has played for the longest. We're gonna do some of the less base heavier stuff later. We're gonna work on, well, let's kind of get some of these weird ones out of the way first, and this upper deck sweet spot. And we'll go through some of the base heavier stuff and then we'll work our way back to that NT. Oh, interesting. All right, so settle in folks. This, might, this break might take a minute or two. There's a uh, Miguel Cabrera Marlins edition, 42 out of 850. That'll be for uh, Brian. It's Carlos Guillen, 408 out of 850. That'll be for Detroit. That's going to go to Joe. What year did this come out? The Sweet Spot is 2007. Definitely a blast from the past here. 
Here is uh, Grady Sizemore. Remember him? Piece of his jersey for the old Indians. David has the current Guardians. Dodgers down to their last three outs, but they've got the first two runners on. We've got, yeah, that's some of the problems with these old sweet spot signatures. The ink, you can see, is really faded, but that's Carlos Quinn for the Diamondbacks, 66 out of 299. Now to go to Chris and the Diamondbacks, last spot mojo. <sighs> Come on, Mookie. All right, we got Sweet Beginnings, Matt Chico for the Nats. Rob with the Nationals. And there is Manny Ramirez, Sweet Swatch memorabilia. That's going to be for Nancy and the Bo Sox. All right, Teo, come on. Let's move some guys over. All right, now let's go into some leaf lumber. We got Rafael Palmero, game used lumber, 13 out of 20. I don't think these have teams on them, do they? Right. There's the blue of the Rangers right there for Palmero. All right, so that's going to be for Barry and the Rangers. We got a randomizer. We'll do at the end. Bat rack. Uh, no, these are all Red Sox. Fred Lynn, Jim Rice, and Yaz. Three out of three. That's going to be for Nancy. Boston Red Sox. Nice, Nancy. One, two, three, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. And we've got a Enos Slaughter. See the St. Louis Cardinal logo peeking right there. Four out of six lumber marks. Cool little cut auto here. And then we got 32 at 35. We got a Scott Rowland autograph on a uh, on a on a piece of wood right there. In the Cardinals colors.
And that'll be for Nancy, who's got St. Louis. Nice. All right. Now, let's get this out of the way here. All right, now let's work through some uh, Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Edition from 2021. So Mets win it. The Dodgers try to make things a little bit interesting the last couple innings, but unfortunately they couldn't get it done. It's all good. Series, series split. On to New York. Travel day tomorrow. a little Dodgers post game and then we'll switch to the Yankees game. It doesn't say, so yeah, all cards ship in this. And it was pretty good. How's yours? It was good. How's that ankle feeling? Feeling better? That's good. Today's the best day out of Out of all the recent days? Yeah. That's good. That's a good sign. You're, you're like Freddie Freeman, pretty much. Yeah, I woke up this morning and I was like, wow, it really doesn't hurt. So I just kicked the wall a few times. So oh, okay. I started limping again. That's good. And then I was like, oh, okay, there it is. There it is. I think that's a good way, that's a good way to test it every day. So these are all facsimile autographs, obviously. There's Ryan Weathers. Uh, Aqua Wave, not numbered. All card shit. This is Randy Johnson. And here is Kike Hernandez. Nice Red Sox edition, 20 out of 99. Big fan favorite here in LA, of course. There's Alfonso Soriano, 71 out of 100. Yankees. Red Sox is Nancy. Yankees is Charles. Willie Calhoun. Zach McKinstry, rookie, had a big homer for the Tigers in the DS. And we've got a Max Kepler autograph. Minnesota Twins, Nancy, with the Twin Cities. 48 out of 50. So Jazz Chisholm rookie card, Miami edition. It's for Brian. Who looked pretty good in pinstripes after the trade. Seemed like it gave him a little shot in the arm. All right, that box is done. Now let's go into some 2022 fire. 
This box is on fire. We're mapping out starters for the Dodgers. I think if they do did the bullpen game today, it might, it might be looking at a uh, Walker Bueller start in games three, in game three, Yamamoto game four, Jack Flaherty game five. Win ball games with going one for nine with the runners in scoring position. Dodgers. The top three guys, I think Otani, Mookie, and Freddie were kind of quiet. happening in the other game by the way scoreless so it just started top of the first one out I think I was wanting to goof around with a, a DraftKings showdown lineup but I forgot Um, there's also a Monday Night Football game on that's starting soon. Who uh, who wins that one? The spread is pretty even. It's just minus one. Bills are the slight road favorites. They'll be in New York playing the Jets. Jets looking for maybe the new coach bounce. That's the thing, right? Both teams looking to avoid losing three in a row. I'm pretty sure. Got a Jose Siri, uh, not numbered, but you can see the different different look there. Julio Rodriguez, rookie card, a couple of them. Nice, that's gonna be for Seattle. Chris with the Mariners. Here's that die cut, and here's the rookie card. Gavin saying, Bills don't have James Cook tonight. Oh, they don't, so that really limits them on O. They got Shakir back, but yeah, not, not, as, not as big of an impact. That, uh, that uh, Jets defense is, is pretty strong too. Here's a rookie auto for the O's. That's for Joe Lawson. That's going to be uh, Spencer Watkins. We got Jeremy Pena. He's pretty solid. Stephen Kwan. Another good player there. We got a uh, fired up Mike Trout insert. Devers, Bichette die cut. Stephen Kwan for David in Cleveland. Jeremy Pena for Houston. That'll be for John. Nice rookie hunting here. He's all sorts of different years. Josh, no, they did have their chances. Yeah, that, that Kike double play was kind of a killer too. Yeah, those guys up top, you know, last year it was like the seven, eight, nine guys that weren't doing anything. 
Yeah. Now it's now it's like the top guys aren't doing anything. Freddy gets a pass on that ankle though. Yeah, I know, right? But still, other guys. You see, it takes like four four hours to. I know, isn't that crazy? I like massage the shit out of it. Right, got to like, tape it up. And... Adams, like, What's that? Like, did, you, did you see the Mario Super thing with Devontae Adams on um, Netflix? No, I actually haven't seen that oh, yet. Like, well, like how they like just crap the massage injuries, like. Probably just massaging it. They're like freaking just doing this crazy shit on his arm. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Totally. He said he might have. He said he was probably gonna sleep over Dodger Stadium last night. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. There's Ryan Vallad, rookie auto for the Rocks. That's gonna be for Justin W. I guess the only Justin in this break. So for Justin. All right. Uh, here's Padres edition of C.J. Abrams. For Charles, rookie card, he's pretty good. And Bobby Wood Jr., rookie card for Allen and the Royals. Nice. So like I think Freddie like probably went back home to Orange County, got home by like 10 or 11, goes to bed, wakes up at 5 and drives back and goes, tape me up before a 1 o'clock game. Yeah. Man, that dedication. Does he live in Orange County? Like I think so. I don't think he has a house in LA. I think he just lives like where he would live in the off season. That's like his main, yeah, I mean, his it's main house. Yeah. Really. It's not really. Kobe used to live in Newport. I'm gonna drive up to Alice Bendo for practice. Well, didn't, he buy a, didn't he buy a house in Alcanyana recently? Freddie? Oh, no, I was talking about Shohei. Oh, I don't know where Shohei lives. Yeah, Is Shohei, it Lacanata? He, he bought a house in Alcanyana oh. with his wife, but I know he still, they said he still has a house in Orange County, though. They said it was like a 10 minute drive off to one hour, so it was like that far. Like, what does Shohei do, you think? What do you mean? Like, no one, like, no one, there's no, like, paparazzi photo of him. He doesn't yeah, go out. He must have a good team, honestly. I don't know. So, like, does he even go out? Does he take walks? Like, what does he do? Like, I don't know, actually, but like, you would have to assume he's not just home all day. Right. I mean, on but off he, days, does he go to, like, a coffee just, shop? Does he have a good team where, like, just no one paparazzi gets to see him? Maybe. Maybe he just pops into a, but I don't even hear on social media. It's like, oh, there's Shohei at a coffee shop. Unless he just blends in. Maybe. <laughs> and like, you know, but yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, we got 2021 Bowman Baseball. Uh, this looks like Hobby Edition, right? It's a smaller box. Yeah, just one autograph we're looking for in here, plus parallels. So obviously we're trying to get all the uh, trying to get all the uh, base heavier stuff out of the way first. I want to start working our way to uh, this might be the last sort of base heavy box. So then it'll just be fewer packs per box, and we'll work our way back into some of the nicer stuff. Remember that under wraps autograph baseball. Just as a reminder, um, most of the time it should be pretty obvious where it's going to go. This usually are active players, but in the instance that there's a Inact there's no checklist, right? So if there's an inactive player, a retired player, it'll go to the team that he played for the longest. If, um, or what else? I guess if there's some obvious identifying marker, that's kind of how I do it too. Like if someone has played for a few different teams but inscribes in the baseball MVP such and such year, you know, and then we'll, it will, I'll just send it to the team that, that the player inscribed it in. Sometimes we'll even have a team inscribed, uh, stamped baseball. You know, it'll be like, you know, there'll be a Dodger stamp on, team stamp on or something. Obviously, we'll send it to there.
pack here, if I can open that up. There we go. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Find some uh, Bowman firsts. Of some future stars, we hope. Jonathan India to 299. Speckle for the Reds. That's going to go to Joe. I know. I was watching that. I was like, every time I switched back, I was just like, wait, what? I think they lost an OT, right? It's just like, it's like 3-3? Three, 4-4? Three? Four, four, five, five, six, six? Have not seen our auto in this box yet. There it is, G Juan Bay for Pittsburgh. That's David M. and the Pirates. And it looks like the Yankees already have two two men on. Torres and Soto are on. Here is Jake Vogel. 273 out of 299 pink paper for Gavin and the Dodgers. Not sure where his status is at, but I think he was I think he was drafted out of high school, so I mean maybe by next spring we might start start hearing some noise about him. And we've got Garrett Cole, orange paper, 3 out of 25. It'll be for the Yankees. It's going to be for Charles. Nick Gonzalez, 98 out of 125. It'll be for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to David. Austin Martin Bowman first. I think when this product came out, I think this was a, I don't know where his status in the hobby is now, but this was a big card. Toronto. He was eventually traded to Minnesota. All right, now if I remember, I'll do, a, I'll do a hit recap at the end of this break too. All right. Oh no, Gavin saying, unfortunately, Joe Vogel might not know how to swing a bat. That might that might stunt his progress to the uh, to the majors. So this is Bowman's best. We got two uh, autographs per mini box on this one. This is 2021. 
Bowman's best. So whatever that rookie class was. All right, Dave Roberts, what do you got to say for us? And who's pitching next game? Yeah, there were a lot of two strike hits. Or walks. Some BB. Got Francisco Lindor, a big hit for him in the game today. Alec Manoa to 90, 81 out of 99 for the Blue Jays. Joe Lawson, and we've got a Cub, Johendrick uh, Penango for Nancy in Chicago. So Jason Dominguez die cut. And we've got a Brian Ramos autograph for the White Sox. Sean with Chicago. And then here's another autograph. Shirt and Apostle, rookie autograph for the Rangers. Barry with the Rangers. J.D. Martinez, Red Sox edition, to 250. That'll be for Nancy and the Red Sox. And a nice Colton Kowser. Nice. Who's going to get some Rookie of the Year votes this year? 11 out of 25. O's. Joe Lawson with the Orioles. Juan Soto, we'll be chatting a little bit on him earlier today. Where's he going to end up? Here is Jose Devers. Brian with Miami. All right, next one here. Phil, when does Hit Parade football break? Uh, whenever it sells out. And then we'll put it on the schedule, which is pinned in the chat. So I'll keep an eye on that. And then if you do need to run another bullpen game in game six, would it be similar to today, or did you learn anything that might inform you? Know what? Yeah, I don't think it's sold out at the moment. We still have that filler to go. All right, next box onwards. Uh, let's get let's move some of that select. Let's go older select first. 2020 select. Yeah, all breaks happen when they sell out, ladies and gentlemen. Not any sooner than that. If the break is sold out and you don't see it on the schedule, then there's more, more than likely a filler that we have to do. 
to give away the remaining spots. So keep an eye out for that as well, everyone. And always consult that schedule. Next one. Good luck. There's Shohei Otani, piece of his jersey. It's going to be for David and the Angels. Fifty-nine out of one forty-nine. Nico Horner to one ninety-nine. And we got Davey Grion for the Phillies. That's going to go to Michael, Michael Duan in the Phillies. Jake Fraley, rookie card for Seattle. Not numbered. And there's a, that's an Arizona rookie card. And a Trent Grisham autograph. For the Padres, that's going to go to Charles and the Padres. One seventy four out of one ninety nine. Randy Aros Urania rookie card, that's Tampa Bay edition going to Eugene. Ken Giles, fifty two out of one forty nine. Toronto, Joe. Patrick Sandoval, one sixteen out of one ninety nine. Halos, that'll be for David. Yadier Molina, 38 out of 99. That'll be for St. Louis, that'll be for Nancy. Always like getting a few blanks here as well. All right, let's flash forward to 2023 select. Oh, that was a field, yeah, that was a field level Yachty as well. Nice. Good eye, Gavin. Good eye. Staff said, you know what? 
and he finds his rhythm because he only pitched one inning in 15 days. So we took a gamble. They call this one premier level. He could find his footing rhythm and give Might be second shortest print, maybe? So we don't burn all There might be one more level under that. I don't know. It's, I always get confused with those levels. It's like they add and subtract some every other year. I do like the tie-dye that they put in select, though. There's Kobe Mayo. That's 14 out of 25 diamond level. He has all sorts of different levels. But that'll be for Joe and Baltimore. And we got Robert Hassel. Nice color there. Rookie patch, Nats, Rob with the Nationals. Four out of 23. We got Tim Wakefield. We got Bob Lemon and Andy Rodriguez to 199. Rookie relic for David, the Pirates. Marcelo Mayer to 149 for Nancy and the Red Sox. We got Tyler Soderstrom. There's Tori Hunter right there. Rookie, relic, and autograph, RPA for Michael and the A's. That's the other Michael D, Michael D. Giuseppe. Let's see what else we have in here. There's the Babe, Babe Ruth to 149. Red Sox edition going to Nancy. And we got a Colton Cowser Youth Explosion autograph. Nice. That'll be for Joe and the O's. Joe's O's. 28 out of 99. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get into some logo fractors. Two box of logo fractors, 2024 edition. So we got these logo fractor packs and we got some regular uh, Topps Chrome packs and right MVP buyback eligible as well. Which is going to be Judge and Otani again? Uh, if we go to our MVP odds tracker that we've been taking a look at all season long, yeah, Aaron Judge. DraftKings has him at minus 4,000. Next closest is Bobby Witt at plus 1,100. That means you, you would have to, if you wanted to win 100 bucks, you'd have to give DraftKings $4,000 to win $100. Not, not too much value there. Um, and in the NL, uh, no one's actually providing odds, but I think Otani was the, uh, 
was the prohibitive favorite by the uh, by the end of the season. Not as big as Judge, I think. I think it was maybe like minus a thousand, minus two thousand, maybe. Jason Dominguez rookie card for Charles and the Yankees. Another Jason Dominguez. Where, where's his teammate? Maybe Aaron Judge. Stan. No, no Otani's, no Aaron Judges for buyback purposes. See all the logo fractors in the background there. There's an all etched Shohei Otani, a Carlos Correa to 199. And an Ellie Dela Cruz, nice. 191 out of 250. Purple logo fractor for Joe Lawson and the Red Legs. Terry Francona managing the Reds next year. Could be good for a young team like this one. Carlos Correa will go to the Twins. Nancy Shohei will go to the Dodgers. That'll be for Gavin. Out of Luis Castillo to 150 for Seattle. That's going to be for Chris. And a rookie, Jackson Merrill. I think that's, an, that's going to be an interesting race, right? NL Rookie of the Year? I think AL is pretty set. With Luis Heal, I think. I think Paul Skeens definitely is the favorite, but Jackson Merrill should be a close second right here. Yeah, I don't think so either, Gavin, but... There's Johan Rojas to 250 for the Phillies, Michael. Zach is asking, are all the red slots gone for Cosmic Breaks? Not sure. Go check the website. You can go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you don't see them in the drop down, then yeah, someone's got them already. All right, about 48 minutes into this break, but we're going to start speeding up here because, you know, now, now it's just going to be like one card per box, just a few packs per box, that sort of thing. All right, 2020 uh, archives. Retired player edition. Bam! Johnny Damon. Yankees edition and a one of one. It's a nice surprise out of here. That's uh, Charles and the Yankees. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woohoo! Alright, now let's get into some Sapphire. Let's go Bowman Draft Sapphire from 2021. Where else? Uh, uh, 
Alright. What do we got here? There's Ty Madden, 4 out of 20. Do that Cars for Kids commercial. Like ice picks in the ears. Joe with Detroit. Jackson Job, four out of 99 for the Tigers. There's another one for Joe Lawson. All right, nothing too crazy here. Now we'll get into 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire Edition, Edition Update Series. Yeah, that Tigers team is looking pretty, uh, looking pretty good. I think they were definitely ahead of schedule this year. If they can keep that, keep that going next year, that'd be awesome. All right, what else do we got here? We got Jackie Bradley Jr. Green for the Brewers, 37 out of 50. That'll be for David. It's a Jonathan India rookie debut. We got Manuel Margot, four out of 10 for the Rays. That'll be for Eugene. And 18 out of 25, Luis Patino autograph. Nice box for the Rays. Gets the rare autograph. That's going to be for Eugene. And you got that out of 10, Manuel Margot. Who I thought would have, would ultimately turn into like a 20-20 a guy or a 25-25 guy, but it just didn't work out for him. Still, uh, still a nice low number there. All right, uh, how about some five-star? Let's go 2021 five-star. I think, five-star fans, we've got some five-star in the store that's down at 20, if anybody wants to get into that. And we're almost done with this mixer. Remember, if you want to win that break credit, we got to do two more mixers by end of show tonight. The 10-box football mixer, 10-box basketball mixer. Then we'll take all the names from the baseball, basketball, and football mixer, and then uh, randomize them and we're giving away a bunch of break credit. Check out the details on the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Right there. All right, we got Luke Voigt. Uh, Charles with the Yankees. Yeah, good quality and five star if you want to do some of that at some point tonight. And here is nice Ricky Henderson, Silver Sigs. 39 out of 40. Michael with the A's. All right, now let's flash forward to, uh, this is what we have on the site, 2024 Five Star Baseball. Got a full case, pick your team up. Ooh, and is this a bonus hit? Or a thicker card? Sometimes you get three. It's a bonus hit right there, nice. Ooh, 
There is a Andre Lipsius. Rookie auto for Detroit, Joe Lawson. Here is a Heston Kirkstad rookie auto. Nice. 20 out of 25 silver signature for Joe Lawson and the Orioles. And Willier Abreu. I think he had a decent season too this year. Rookie auto for the Red Sox. That's going to be for Nancy. All right, let's get into some 2022. Uh, no, this one's a little bit older. Let's get into 2020. NT Baseball. Ooh, look at that. Fat box. Real fat box here. It's a big book. Treasure chest. And now there's a thick book right over there. Be one happy person, a lot of sad people. All right, there's 99 out of 99, Gavin Lux. Game gear. That'll be Gavin for Gavin. Here is Jorge Soler. Uh, 83 out of 99, piece of the jersey for the Royals. That'll be for Allen. Uh, Max Scherzer, 22 out of 25. That's Nat's edition going to Rob, piece of the jersey. Here is Hall of Famer Duke Snyder. Four out of ten. That's awesome. Gavin with the Dodgers. Old school Dodger. Game war material. Here's Kyle Lewis, rookie jersey and autograph. 27 out of 49 for Chris and the Mariners. Thirty top loaders that better fit. All right, there we go. We got fight finish. Tres Barrera, sixty-three out of ninety-nine. Signature names. That's going to be for Rob and the Nats. And we got for Detroit, we got Willie Castro, rookie jersey and autograph, 62 out of 99. Joe with Motor City, Detroit, 
D-Town. The D. And then there's Alan Trammell. 14 out of 25. Hall of Famer. Another Tiger for Joe. Mr. Tiger. Alan Trammell is Mr. Tiger, right? All right, the book. Let, let's just, I don't even know how to, let's go this way maybe? Whoa. 16 players, seven out of 25. Bam. Bam. Ooh, nice colors there too. Gavin Lux, Luis Robert, Jesus Lazardo, Brendan McKay. Sean Murphy, Nico Horner, Zach Gallen, Aristides Aquino. And then these guys, right? Dylan Cease, Jordan Alvarez, Dustin May, Isan Diaz, Kyle Lewis, Bo Bichette, Nick Solak, and Yoshi Tomo Sutsugo. So we'll do that randomizer along with any others at the end of the break. That's pretty awesome. All right. Yeah, I think they're still planning on doing triple threads, Gavin. They just skipped last year for some reason. Maybe they want to. They want to kind of give it a reset. But that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that that they're going to table it for this year, but bring it back, bring triple threads back next year. All right, now it's 2022 NT. There's Field Gear, 79 out of 99, piece of the jersey, Connor Siebold. Nancy with Boston. Here is more for the Red Sox. Yes, Field Gear, 74 out of 99, piece of the jersey. Yeah, that randomizer, one happy person, 15 sad people. Here's Romy Gonzalez. It's like 97 out of 99. A couple of bits of the uh, the White Sox pinstripe in there for for uh, Sean and the Chicago White Sox. Here is Justin Upton. One out of 15. Seattle edition. Going to Chris. Here is Queen City, TJ Friedel, 1999, Cincinnati. I feel like Charlotte sometimes refers to themselves as the Queen City. Cincinnati also claims Queen City. Who's the real Queen City? This one will go to Joe and the Reds. Hunter Goodman, 7 out of 49. For the Rocks, that's going to be for Justin. We have uh, Connor Wong, 7 out of 10. Rookie, patch, and autograph. He had a really nice season this year. Nice RPA for Nancy and the Red Sox. Uh, Walker Bueller, excuse me. <coughs> well, I think is I think Walker Bueller is in line to to make a start. Um, 
in uh, the next uh, NLCS game in New York, game three. So hopefully he does well. Gavin has my Dodgers. And the last book here is... Clearly on the field, Miguel Cabrera, 13 out of 49. Florida Marlins edition, nice. Got a little piece of the jersey right up there. Nice, where it all began. That's going to be Brian with the Marlins. All right, and the baseball is our 18th box. I know the title said 17, but if you if you had an eagle eye, you would have been looking at the description counting the boxes, and it would have been 18. Again, I earlier I gave you all the instructions on how we're doing the baseball. We're using our no checklist rules. Is this the card that has the player's name on here? All right. Active player. We'll play a quick little bit of trivia if you want to play along. I'll make it really easy. Um, his accolades. Uh, he's got a lifetime 289 batting average since his debut in 2018. 815 hits, already has 165 home runs, 196 stolen bases, and 417 runs batted in. Already a four-time All-Star, NL MVP, All MLB First Team, NL Rookie of the Year, a three-time Silver Slugger, two-time stolen base leader, uh, righty outfielder. Did not play much this season, but when he's on the field, he is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Who am I? Uh, sounds like a baller, Zach says. Yep. I think Gavin, Gavin knows. Yeah, I, I want to make it really easy. Yeah, it is indeed. Ronald Acuna Jr. That's you, Trevor. You got the Braves. Got all the authentication right here as well. It's an official baseball. Blah, 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 blah. There's the, uh... Fan secure card right here as well. So nice autograph for the Bravos. All right, set that up there. Now, time to make a bunch of people happy and a bunch of people sad. So let's flip back to a blank list. There's no other randomizers I gotta do. I'll do a hit recap in just a little bit. So we had Gavin Lux, Sean Murphy, Luis Robert, and then Nico Horner, Lazardo and Gallen, Arizona, Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay Rays, Aquino, Cincinnati, Dylan Cease, Chicago White Sox, Kyle Lewis, Seattle, Jordan Alvarez, Houston, Bo Bichette, Toronto, Dustin May, Los Angeles Dodgers, Nick Solak, Texas, Isan Diaz, Miami, and then Yoshitomo for the Rays. Yeah, not too many hits for you, unfortunately, Trevor, but a nice one at the end. All right, good luck, everybody. There are your players there, your teams. Team on top after five gets the big book. Four and a one, five times. Good luck. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four. And once more, fifth and final time. It's for Texas after five. And that's going to go to... It's going to go to Barry Roberts and the Rangers. There you go, Barry. Big 16 player book. A lot of nice colors here. Some nice players in there, too. 
And 7 out of 25, nice low number on that as well. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just another Monday mixer. Here is a big recap here. Remember, we got to do the two other mixers as well if we want to give away that break credit. We got to do it by end of show tonight, 11 o'clock Pacific. So get into it. Walker, Connor, et cetera, et cetera. So not a bad mixer as well. The other ones aren't so bad either. Even if you don't, uh, if you even if you don't collect a lot of baseball or a lot of football or basketball, and you're in this break, maybe help with the other break so so you can try to get that break credit. Try to get that break credit done. Maybe you, you might those extra spots might even help you stumble into some break credit. Yeah, that's some nice stuff in here. Turned out to be a pretty solid mixer too, even even without the break credit. A lot of different years, a lot of different product, a lot of different rookie cards. Yeah, so I thought I thought pretty solid. Now that part a little faded out a little unfortunate, but for the most part. A real solid break. Thanks for watching and breaking with me, everybody. A couple more mixers to go. We give away that break credit. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next mixer. Bye-bye.